Hello everyone, this is Kim from KimberlyScottScience.com. If you want to learn more about me, you can go to my website or you can also go to my TeachersPayTeachers.com store to pick up some great science resources. And today we are going to talk about butter. And right now it is the month of December and I love to do butter at Thanksgiving time. And that's because butter was something that was really used by the settlers and in the colonies because milk is such a complete food. It's got the proteins, the carbohydrates, um, and lipids and vitamins that you need, but it spoils easily. So before refrigeration, we had to come up with ways that we could use every part of the milk that wouldn't spoil as easily. And butter is one of those things. So I encourage you to use it as a history lesson with a little science thrown in there. So we're going to talk a little bit about how easy it is to make butter, and I will talk about the science that I do with that. And the first thing would be a health lesson, which I just mentioned, that butter is great for a health lesson for teaching about what butter contains and that it is mostly fat and all the wonderful things about milk. So when you first start talking about the milk, you're going to want to talk about the fact that everything is in there with the milk. You have the butter fat and all of that in that milk when they take it from the cow and then they let it sit and that butter fat rises to the top and that is what they skim off and that is the cream that is in there with that butter fat. So they skim off that cream and it is the whipping cream that you are going to use to make butter. So you want to make sure it is heavy whipping cream and that it is at room temperature because it is going to churn or coalesce better at room temperature. So they skim off that cream and that's what we use for making butter. And then the milk you can drink. So every part is being used. Then from there you start the process of churning the cream into butter. So I love this lesson for teaching the properties of a solid and a liquid because they can see the changes that is happening in the butter. So all you really need are some sort of small tube or container. My favorite is the baby soda bottle test tubes. They are wonderful and your butter will be made so quickly with this. And it's just that little top and you can find these in science catalogs to order. If you do not have those, you'll see here, these are old baby bottles. So the little newborn baby bottles. Here's another one that I actually have some butter in. These are fantastic too because they have that same similar size. You can use other different types of Tupperware containers too, but for a classroom, this just makes it even more sciencey since it's a test tube. It is not glass, it is a solid plastic, so it, it's basically unbreakable. And when you are making it, you bring your cream to room temperature and all you need is 20 milliliters of cream in this. So this one container can go really far in a classroom. So I'll show you my 20 mils. So if you're doing it as a group project or individual, 20 mils. There's plenty. There's 236 milliliters in this one. So it does not take much. And you just pour it right in to your baby soda bottle test tube. And the magic secret, different from that old butter churner, is a marvel. Make sure you wash them because if you're going to want to do some taste testing with your butter. You want to make sure you're using clean marbles. So you just place that marble right inside. That marble is the perfect size to be able to go up and down and not shift all around. And then you screw it nice and tight so it doesn't leak and your students start shaking. And they just shake and that marble goes up and down just like you would think with a butter churn. And so then they just keep shaking it. And it takes probably about five minutes and they will know when it's done. But this is where the properties of matter come in. This butter is going to go through changes. So it's gonna get a little frothy at first and that's that air kind of forming in there because what you're doing is you're taking something that was a fat and water emulsion and you're turning it into a water and fat emulsion. So we're getting those fat globules to break apart and come out of that butter fat and join together. And then you're left with a liquid, which is the buttermilk, which again, there's your history lesson. And then they would use the buttermilk to make buttermilk biscuits. And then they would put the butter on their biscuits when they were done. So you just shake it up and down. And this is always a favorite part for the kids. 
and that marble's just straight up and down, straight up and down. So properties of matter, you could have them stop every minute and take a peek inside and see what it looks like. So you're gonna start with frothy, then you're gonna go to a soft whipped, then you're gonna go to a whipped. So there's another lesson you're talking about, how do we make whipped cream? If you whip your whipped cream too much, you end up with butter. So you can even see here, here is, see if you can see that. That is, I'm dribbling, that whipped stage, like a whipped cream. So it will go through those stages, great for observations. And they keep shaking and shaking. And as they go through it, they'll know, like right now it is getting hard already to move this marble up and down because it's getting thicker. And they will see, right through the tube, they can see the process happening. And it will be that whipped cream and it'll fill it up and then they'll keep shaking. And all of a sudden it'll just get this yellowish color and the butter's there. And it's just amazing to see. And the kids get so fascinated by it. Here is that butter. Went from that whipped cream stage to the butter stage. And you'll see here in this container now, as I shake it, this already has the butter in it, and you can tell like the marble starts sticking in it, and that's a good sign that the butter is done. Doesn't take long at all. And then when they empty it out, it's going to have that liquid. See that liquid come out? That's buttermilk. Nice white buttermilk. And then here's that marble with all that butter stuck on it. And then you could separate it from that and tell them, you know, they, they put salt on it for flavor and they add that to it and separate that buttermilk out and make it thicker. And so another science concept that this teaches is, is this a chemical reaction or is it a physical reaction? And to get the older students to really think about that, it's all physical. All these substances were already there in that milk. We just churned it coalesced it to get them to come out and clump together. So it's a great example of a physical reaction. Now, no, you can't get it back to its original very easily, but it's a physical reaction, not a chemical reaction. So that's another great way to tie that into your science lessons. So I encourage you, if you do not have baby soda bottle test tubes, worth it to have them in your classroom. Also, if you have any baby bottles left over from your own kids, Bring them into your classroom. They are fantastic. Or you ever find some at garage sales. I think I found a few at, at garage sales. And then if you want to take this investigation up a notch, check out my butter churning investigation on teacherspayteachers.com. I will leave a link on the YouTube page for it. And that gets you to even investigate different types of cream and the amount of fat and milk. So the students expand that health lesson a little bit more and they really start to look at it um, analytically and from a science perspective even more. So great activity. Have fun making butter with your students and make sure you've got some crackers for them to spread it on when you're done.